Hey everybody, it's Steve Chase here, and I'm going to show you a favorite tip of mine working with Chrome, specifically when you're inside QuickBooks Online and you want to see two reports side by side, how can you do that? So we're going to compare the profit and loss report. I'm in the reports section, selecting profit and loss, and we're going to go ahead and do all dates, run it. And so what we're going to see here, <coughs> We drill down, we have $125,000 of revenue for all dates accrual. However, when we run the accounts receivable aging summary, we haven't been paid all that. So we have quite a lot of money out there, specifically this Travis guy here with um, accounts receivable. So what I wanna do is show you how easy it is to compare the accrual basis for profit and loss, which is going to record all of the invoices versus cash, which is going to omit the invoices or parts that haven't been paid, the partial payments that haven't been paid. Okay. So in Chrome, make sure you're in Chrome when you do this, you run the report that you'd like to compare side by side. Just go ahead and run that. Then you hover over one of the navigation tabs here and hold down the control key and select to open up a new tab. And so this is what just happened. A new window tab is being opened up right here. And we actually have the same company open side by side. So I can drag this down here and I could go about, you know, making that side by side to do that. So just simply run the report in the second window, how you'd like to see it. And we're gonna do all dates and watch cash and run report. Okay, so significant differences there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just gonna pull this over to the side like that and then take the top one that we were in originally and push this off to the side like that. And that is really great to be able to compare our design income under the accrual is $117,750, but the actual cash basis means that we've been paid that. So as we go through line item by line item, you'll be able to see uh, discrepancies between the two. And you can also do it on the, on the expenses side as well. For example, if you recorded bills that were not yet paid, if you recorded a bill, haven't paid it, then it's gonna show up on the accrual reporting, but it would not show up, unpaid bills are not gonna show up on the cash basis right here. So then if I were to make changes to uh, one of these here, so let's go in and let's say we're gonna receive a payment for an invoice being paid today, receive payment for that Travis invoice that's out there, he owes 100,000. So we're just gonna pay 50% of that. Okay. Um, here's a little trick here, 414.72. If you take 414.72 and then multiply it times 0.5, you'll be able to hit tab and that's gonna cut that in half. So that's a nice little trick there. Okay. So I'm gonna hit save and close. Awesome, so all I need to do now is refresh this page right here to show the cash this was gonna go up. Watch this, refresh here or F5. As that reloads, that number just worked out to what we just received there in that design income. So. Um, great trick. Uh, this isn't just a QuickBooks online thing. If you have Google Calendar and you want to see two calendar views side by side, maybe the week view on one side and the month glance on another side, you can, you can totally do that. The more windows you have, the desktops, uh, monitors you have, even better to be able to spread it out. Just remember that if you start doing work in any of these files, as you land on the other page, make sure you hit the refresh button to, so you have the latest updates that has been hitting out there. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, check out sequentiasolutions.com 
slash blog to follow along with all my other tutorials in the world of software training. Have a great day.